Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, Webflow Users. Today we're going to explore how on an exciting topics on how to incorporate React components into your Webflow website. React is a powerful JavaScript library for building dynamic and interactive users interface by combining the flexibility of Webflow visual design capabilities with the functionality of React you can take your websites to the next level. So let's get started and learn how to add React components to your Webflow site. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use Brave Browser, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you have, any browser that you prefer. Just go and open it up and you you are good to start. So the first step is to set up your React development environment. So before integrating React components into a flow, you'll need to set up your React development environment. Install the Node.js and create a new React project using a Create React app and navigate to the project directory in your terminal or command prompt. And this will ensure you have all the necessary tools and dependencies to work with React. And of course, you'll have to build your React components and your React project, create a new component or import an existing one that you want you or that you want to add to your Webflow website. Customize the components, functionality, and appearance according to the requirements and make sure to export the components to so that it can be imported into other files. Of course, you can compile and bundle the React components. You can to use the React components and Webflow. You need to compile and bundle them into a format that Webflow can understand. So run the build command in your React projects to generate the production ready bundle files, and this process will create a single JavaScript file that includes all the necessary dependencies and your React components. So then you will simply have to add the React component to your Webflow website. So, so go to a new tab once you do all of this and go and type a webflow.com, then log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't, make sure to go and create a new one by clicking on create or uh, clicking on get started and you will be prompted to follow a simple uh, instructions to create your account. Of course, once you do so, make sure to go and create even your uh, website. Once you do so, you can simply go to the dashboard again, click on these three dots, go to the settings of your website, then simply go and click on custom code. Once you're here, as you can see, you'll not be able to add any code unless you have a site plan. So make sure to go and get one. Of course, there's two options. There's the website site plans and e-commerce sites. Of course, the standard is enough. And for the websites, the CMS is enough. So as you can see, the standard will come with 500 e-commerce items, 2% uh, percent transaction fee, and all CMS plan features. Of course, if you uh, want to uh, upgrade your plan, you will get more e-commerce items and zero transaction fee. The same works with advanced. You will get just more e-commerce items. Here, you will be able to compare your plans uh, from e-commerce items, checkouts, uh, custom checkouts, and etc. Of course, uh, I'm just gonna tell you the headlines from publishing to design, from payments to marketing and even management. You can even go and check the website ones. So as we said, we will need a CMS or more. So make sure to get that because that will get you the CMS items that we want, which will give you the option to get your custom code. And here you'll be able to uh, compare the plans from publishing to site features, to CMS and to traffic, CEO integration, as you, as you can see, the integrations, uh, that's what we'll need actually, security, admin, and you can even contact them if you want or if you have any questions. Of course, once you do so, you will have to go to the custom code and integrate uh, or in the Webflow Designer. Once you get here, you'll have to add the React component. So add an HTML embedded element to the desired location. As an example, once you, do, once you add it here, simply go back to the dashboard and go now to the designer as an example. And let's just wait for the designer or editor until it's open up. Then we will have to go and open or add a block, an HTML embed element to the desired location, wherever you would like to add it on the page and simply copy the script tag from the compiled React bundle file and paste it into the HTML embed element code. Save your changes and preview the site to see the React components in action. 
of course, you can customize and interact with the React components. So depending on the nature of your React components, you can customize its behavior and appearance by modifying the components props or adding CSS style. Additionally, you can leverage the power of React to create interactivity and dynamic functionality within your web, web flow site. Of course, if you're still facing any issues, you can open a new tab as an example and go to university. Sorry, university uh, dot, uh, dot webflow dot com. And here, if you're already logged in into your account on Webflow, you'll find yourself already logged in here. So don't worry about this. And here, go just to more and click on integrations. Here, as we said, we will have to go to the search all integrations. Of course, you can search manually here if you want to, or you can search by integration types, or you can simply use the search all integration option because it's, all, it's pretty, pretty helpful and it will save you a lot of time. So here, you'll have to type react components as an example and as you can see you will find this right here so simply click on it you'll be able to view the sites as an example so if you don't have a site make sure to go uh, or if you don't have an account here or you still didn't install it you'll be able to install it from here and do everything i said in the beginning of this video and or you can simply go and view the lessons from here and if you get confused in any of or any minutes of my tutorial, you can see everything here. As you can see, how to set, set up your React projects, how to uh, to integrate it with Webflow. You will be able to see everything here. And if you have any issues or problems, again, you can just go to their supports and talk to them. Or even Webflow supports will help you as well. And once you get your credential from there, you can simply go and did what I ask you to go here to the custom. Uh, code and add it then simply go and add an html button and paste the code from there and you will be normally good to go so if you reach this point of the video great work you've learned how to integrate react components into your webflow website so allowing you to combine the visual design capabilities of webflow with the dynamic functionality of react this opens up a world of possibilities for creating highly customized and interactive web experience experiences so remember to experiment explore different and explore different react components and keep pushing the boundaries of your webflow projects if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like down below for more web design tips and tricks thanks for watching and happy coding with the react and webflow of course, if you're still facing any issues, you can always go down below to the comment section and leave me whatever issue you have. And I will get to back to you as soon as possible with a new videos. Or you can simply go and contact their supports, the Webflow supports, or the, even the React supports. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.